A Cache Valley charity now has a new home after they say the pandemic impacts left them without one for several months. New specialist Mike Anderson explains how they're getting help from another group that shares their same purpose. The way art comes together okay. isn't always simple. It's like watching grass grow, huh? Michael Bingham is assembling a mural at the Dan Gillenskog Veterans Center just ahead of their grand opening, piecing it together, much like he's having to do with his own nonprofit. I try to stay real positive and optimistic, like something good would work out. Earlier this year, he learned Jump the Moon would have to move out. His charity that helps people with disabilities express themselves through art just wasn't getting to help nearly as many people because of the pandemic, putting them behind on their lease. I have to be honest, uh, there, there are in the last seven months or more, have been some kind of dark days. But now Bingham says the picture is coming together as Utah State University's Institute for Disability Research, Policy and Practice has offered them a space in their building. It is a huge relief to see that we have a spot and we have somebody who wants us to be a part of what they're doing. Bingham says it will take a couple of weeks or so to get moved in and set up, but he's grateful they'll soon be back to helping reach people through art. They still need to express themselves, and so that's why we're so excited to get started again, as, and we want to make that happen. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.